Yo guys, welcome back to another video by me, Wednesdays on our collab. I realized that was really energetic and I'm sorry, but <laughs> I wanted to get a good start. We are going through taking a trip down memory lane. Basically, what I mean by that, but I am going through my drawer that I stuffed with everything that I wanted to keep from where I previously lived and yeah this is gonna be interesting like I don't really remember exactly what I put in there except for like maybe one or two things so it's probably gonna be like projects or something because I'm a nerd and I'm lame but um yeah just looking at some stuff that I made or people gave to me or stuff that happened when I used to live where I used to live as opposed to now I've basically just forgotten all about it because it wasn't a fun time all the time. So, uh, yeah, it's just hiding away in a drawer. So we will be opening that today. What you gonna do with that dessert? These are a lot of documents that I did in eighth grade. But this is the one that was on top. I wrote this in second grade. Get to hear the cringiness. All right. Oh, wait. Look at this handwriting, though. Tell me that's not the best handwriting you've ever seen. Okay, so it was a letter to our teacher, I guess. Um, we were working on like how to structure a letter, how to write a letter to somebody. And so I said, I didn't really have a fun weekend this time. Kyla's friend Lily came and they didn't listen and got in my things. But it was sort of fun because Lily and I played with Kyla's stuff in her room while she was watching a movie downstairs. And I'm not done because yesterday I had snacks because at church it was cookie Sunday. I guess maybe it was a fun weekend. Uh, from Leila. P.S. I guess it wouldn't matter if they came or not because it was fun. So basically I guess what I was trying to say is my sister's friend came over and they were playing with my toys and so then her friend and I ended up playing with Kyla's toys when Kyla was off doing her own thing. And then we had cookies at church the next day. So that's, that's me in second grade. <laughs> the next few things, I guess some of this I did in seventh grade as well. But the first thing you see, let's just take a second. These are all crap drawings because I watched Mary Poppins the night before and I was obsessed with Mary Poppins for probably three days and I had all the songs stuck in my head so I just drew pictures of them because at that point in my life I thought I was destined to be an artist. What a joke. And then I did this because for a brief amount of time I was obsessed with Billy Joel based off of his song Moving Out. Um, this I believe... No, wait, this was from, these are all from 8th grade, I'm sorry. Um, this is my thing of drawings. It's top quality, best thing I've ever seen, for sure. Um, this is another drawing. It says, evil star dazzle, watch out, they take over your body and make you do squats and then make you jump up from the squats. So this was an exercise that my soccer coach made us do and it was like where you would get down on the ground and then you jump up but it wasn't a burpee if you know what a burpee is it wasn't that and I just called them star dazzles because we'd have to like do this with our hands when we came up so yeah I made like a drawing of what a star dazzle would look like yeah that's that's a star dazzle uh, <laughs> I made a list only it says only 100 things that Leila Oswalt hates and it is literally a list of the things that I hated in eighth grade okay so the first thing I said people who brag and the last thing I said was body hair so <laughs> everything from people who brag to body hair so yes these are a couple of art projects I did this was in sixth grade we tried to make like three-dimensional quilt shape like quilt colored things like I don't know how to explain it um, and then this was a monochromatic painting we had to take a selfie in class and I was so great at taking selfies and so great at painting myself as a selfie this was my monochromatic painting looks just like me um, but yeah 
I didn't really like these projects. Obviously now I just think they look disgusting, but I kept them because uh, my art teacher who I felt pretty close with, she was one of the people I felt the closest with at my middle school. Um, she passed away due to cancer. She was, I can't recall her age, this is really bad. She never, she never really said her age, but I think it was like late 20s, early 30s. Um, she passed away due to cancer. She always told us, she was like, oh, I have cancer, but it's not that big a deal. Like, it'll go away or something. It's not bad. Like, you don't have to worry about it. And then the literally during the summer, after my eighth grade year into my freshman year, she passed away. So I keep these just to remember her by. Even though they aren't the best, it was a start. And it reminds me of her enthusiasm and everything that she taught me outside of art and in art. Okay, I keep jumping around from like years that happened, but um, I tried to grab all the things I had from freshman year. So these are both, hang on. <laughs> these are both newspaper articles because we had like, we were in a really small town. So basically anything that happened was put in the newspaper. I was in two theater productions my freshman year. So no, three, three theater productions, but the, second one that I was in, I wasn't in the newspaper because I was just part of the chorus. But this one, I'm not in this picture, but I'm in the article. Um, I was in that, that was the fall play. And then we did a cabaret, that's me looking great, top notch. We did a cabaret, so it's just like a bunch of different songs from different musical productions all put into one show, that kind of thing. And then we did like, some people read like monologues and stuff, so that was there. Um, the other things from freshman year that I just pulled out, uh, two of these are poems, so I won't read those. Um, this one, more drawings, because I had study hall the second semester, and I just got worse. Oh, I was obsessed with Shawn Mendes, so that was when his handwritten album was the only thing he had out. And so I would literally write, like, the back is Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes, Shawn Mendes, <laughs> like, all over the back, like, in different fonts. This is just, like, a bunch of different lyrics from his songs that I really liked. Um, these I kept from my English class. These aren't even phenomenal grades. They're, like, okay grades, and I only kept them because I was, like, Eh, you know, I at least got an A, maybe an A minus, but you know what? It's an A. And then this one I did not do very well on, but I was just proud of it because I took like forever and it doesn't look that bad. So we had to like take a character from the book that we read and make it into something else. So I just turned it into another character from a different thing. Obviously, that's a Siamese cat from Lady and the Tramp. But, like, you had to use textual evidence to prove why it was this other character or whatever. So, yeah, that's what I did, and I was really proud of that. Um, that's all I have in here from freshman year. Okay, so I want to show all my pictures at, like, the same time towards the end. So here's, like, the last, like, little bits, trinkets and stuff. This is a bell from my first musical production that I ever did. It was Oklahoma. I was in sixth grade, but the high school was doing it. So they let like kids from elementary school and middle school to be in the chorus because they needed like little kids. It says, Oklahoma, this here's a party. So <laughs> yeah, that's from the cast party that we had at a senior's house. Um, this is a little glove that my best friend in fifth grade gave me. Uh, cause she always used to wear these all the time. She'd get them from Justice or something. And I would always steal them because I thought it was so cute. So she let me have this one because I ended up stretching it out and we called them like our best friend gloves. Um, and we probably wore them for probably like a couple months cause it was towards the end of fifth grade and then into sixth grade we kind of like fell out of friendship. But yeah, I have that from her. Um, this is from my friend who I only got to know very briefly, but we got, I'm pretty sure, yeah, we got pretty close. I can't really say like we talked deep and stuff because it was only fourth grade and his fourth graders were all like silly and stuff, but we were pretty good friends. Um, and she was from Japan and at the end of fourth grade, she moved back to Japan. So I have still like the thing that she gave me. It wasn't like Halloween or anything, but she had like little Halloween themed bags and I saved like 
all the wrappers, it, they were full of Japanese candy. I saved like all the candy wrappers in there. Um, yeah, she gave, uh, this is a mechanical pencil. It has polka dots on it. And then this was full of more candy and it had like a little card in it. It says, sweet friend. She was so cute. Um, it says, you are an awesome friend. I will miss you. And then it gives her address and stuff and her uh, email address so I could stay in touch. Okay, so I finally got all the pictures together. I'm going to try to have them in chronological order. We have this picture of my second grade class. Yeah, that's there. And we have this picture. I cannot remember when this was taken. But that's me on the far this side. Um, <laughs> I don't remember what year that was, though. Um, this is of my fifth grade class. I'm, like, hiding. If you can... There. Don't look at anyone else. Just my ugly... Yep, right there. I'm disgusting. Okay. So... This is my birthday party in fifth grade. That's that's me right there. Uh, and then this was my friend's birthday party who had hers right after me. And that's my ugly self right there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, fun fact, I actually need glasses because I'm blind, but... And then this was taken with my friend who gave me the glove. This glove, this is her and me. What they do at my old school is once you leave fifth grade, like on the last day of school, they have a clap out. Same thing too if you're in eighth grade um, in the middle school is they would literally like everyone would line the halls and they'd all clap and like applaud you and you would walk down like all the way out throughout the school and then you'd end up in the gym and then you'd like say goodbye to like all your friends and all your teachers and then your parents would all be there and then your parents would just take you home so yeah that was pretty cool I remember the whole time I was like holding back tears and then I went to the car and like cried like the whole time I was like all oh, these people crying like why are they crying we're gonna see each other like next year in sixth grade and then I got into the car and I bawled my eyes out oh, middle school okay so this was the play that we did where I got the bell from um I'm right underneath the star in the green dress that's that's me um I don't have a lot of pictures. Oh wait, yeah, I do. I do have a lot of pictures from middle school. Um, this is the eighth grade musical that I was in, and it's really hard to see. This is a really blurry picture, but I'm right there. Right there. We did Into the Woods Junior, because everything's junior in middle school. But yeah. And then we can find my picture in the middle school yearbook. Okay, that's me. Right there, looking grand. I have this picture from DC of our whole class in front of the Capitol building. I was so mad. The Capitol building was under construction, people. On the day we went to DC, it was under construction. <laughs> I was so mad. I'm right there. My lovely self right there. Yep. Um... And then these are all the pictures, like, that were, like, printed out that weren't from musicals or anything. This is, okay, this is second grade. That's me and my friend. Um, I gave her the panda for her birthday. And then this was a choir camp. I have to find myself. I'm right there. I don't think you can see. Right, I'm pinching myself right there. Um, that's, oh, look at them pants, though. Look at how short they go. That was me and my friend. We had to make a game for a gifted reading class we were in when we were in, like, third grade. So, that's that. Okay, and now we get into the weird middle school pictures. So, sorry, my phone, like, passed out there. Um, <laughs> these are cringy cringy musicallys. These are cringy middle school pictures. Okay, so that's 
us. It's my friend group, sort of. We had some other people in there, too. Um, but we were all doing the Miley Cyrus look because that was when she was, like, crazy. That's when she came out with, like, um, We Can't Stop, like, Wrecking Ball, like, all that stuff. So we were, like, trying to do the <laughs> whatever she did. Oh, my gosh. And, like, I look so cringy, but, yeah. And then this was, oh, that was seventh grade. That was the fall dance. And then this was the spring dance in seventh grade. And that's me over here looking great. Um, let's see. What else do we have in here? Oh, that was mission trip. This is mission trip for my church after my seventh grade year. That's me in the hat right there. I was obsessed with hats, as you saw in one of my previous videos. This is the spring dance for 8th grade. The one I had from the fall in 8th grade was I was with my friends and they had their boyfriends and then they ended up breaking up with their boyfriends in the picture. Well, they didn't break up with their boyfriends in the picture, but the boyfriends that they had in the picture they broke up with, so I just didn't keep that picture. Um, this is another one from that same dance, the spring eighth grade dance it's me looking great um and then these are from the eighth grade dance so it was like the closest thing we got to like a prom or whatever it was like formal so this is me just being weird and then this is me looking cringy and then that's probably the best picture of me this little strand of hair always kills me so take that away that's probably the best picture of me from that evening and I remember I went alone, like, by myself because all my friends went with their boyfriends and they didn't want to go as a friend group, so, yeah. And then, this is just a cringy picture, cringy selfie, of my friends from track when we were in our freshman year, so. Yeah, that's all the pictures. Is that all the pictures? Oh, wait, no. One more. Almost done. This is just... The last musical I was in my freshman year. This is the one that wasn't in the newspaper. And I am here. I'm always on the corners because I'm always tall. So that's me with like the little Indian looking braids. We did Annie Get Your Gun and I was in the chorus. So yeah. Um, I had some other things in the drawer, but they're like, eh, like they weren't really huge or anything. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reacting to old stuff from my old life, then definitely drop a like, subscribe. I'll be back next Tuesday. Yeah. Um, yeah, see you guys next week. Bye.